everybody, it's Nadia over here again and I'm bringing to you a nail varnish with but different makes. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, somebody wanted to request me doing the So Susan box, so I thought I'd try some of the boxes where I've got nail varnishes that I've never used before, but I was like, why not? And I'm going to wear them, see how long they last, which one ships first, which one doesn't. So if you enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment below about any of the nail varnishes I use or in anything else, then please do again. And uh, if you'd like to hit subscribe, would much appreciate it. So hope you enjoy this video. And uh, right, so what I did was I started off no base coat nothing like that i'm like this is just straight on natural so i started off with the kukio prince be gone which is i'm a little pinky and this took one coat to get it into full and it is actually a really dark green because i know it comes off camera as blue so but it is a really dark green um i then took the nails ink in the color hyde park and it is this grey colour and it's absolutely stunning it went on lovely with two coats um, didn't didn't necessarily have to have the two coats but it did look better with the two coats if you get what I mean then I did the So Susan and I've done the So Sorry about the middle finger I've done the So Susan three times and three times as it come out like this and this is in the colour bubblegum and it is literally like sandpaper i don't know what's gone with what wrong with it or anything it's like having sandpaper on my nail so don't know whether that's supposed to be the finish or not but after three attempts it should be normal um the next one that i've got is from rimmel and that is the 4213 hasn't got a colour number on it and no it's not sorry the next one is denim denim with diamonds from trust from beauty and that's a stunning blue so my nails aren't extremely long so and don't forget i suffer with chronic fatigue so i do sleep a lot then obviously the rimmel and the rimmel i put on my thumb and um, this is number 4213 so that's this end on this end I've put the oily which is orange punch and it looks stunning absolutely stunning there is two coats on there could have done with what just using the one if I were doing base and top coat I'd have done the one then we did the SA which is in the gorgeous purple colour and this is number 363 I'm looking down there because I've wrote the numbers down so I could actually read them to you this is 363 so then the next one is the Zoya and this is one the one that I mentioned in a recent coming up video so I wanted to see how it transferred onto a nail instead of a stick and it's actually better on your nail than the nail stick and this is two coats and it's been finger again two coats so gorgeous but you still haven't got that shifting color and it's definitely not coming off so i'm sorry about the middle, middle finger again then i use the so susan now this is where i don't understand it because this is the so susan watermelon and it came off beautifully it's gorgeous red colour um, and no feeling so unless it's a different type that I put on this one but it didn't say so on the box so I'm a little bit really really confused and then the last one is the Revlon and I've had all of these out of subscription boxes and I'm not what I brought myself and that's what that one looks like so I will report back to you how they wear basically so over the next week 
so so I'll see you soon hi everybody I'm back with my nail video uh, I've worn them for a full week and I can tell you it's been murder I have been wanting to change them so my order that I feel that when they chipped when they didn't chipped or anything like that this is my opinion so first of all is the trust fund beauty and this is in the colour denim with diamonds absolutely stunning it stayed on um, and it's still on and it's a week later so the next one is the Zoya and I wasn't expecting this to be the same but again it sorry about putting my middle finger up but it's still on slightly chipped but the next one is the prints have been gone uh, it's slightly chipped at the tips but it's it's a stunning beautiful beautiful colour um, the next one is the Orle in orange punch and again it's slightly chipped just on the edge so really nice uh, really struggled actually to decide on these so the next one is the nails ink Hyde Park and again just starting to peek through on some of them on some of them on the nail you know chips and things um, the next one I found which was really nice and was this and this is the Revlon one and again it has chipped don't get me wrong but it lasted longer than the others before the chipped that's what I mean so um, the next one is the So Susan in the bubblegum and I did try three or four times and it is rough um, so I don't know whether that's how it's supposed to be or not but yeah that, that's that's the next one and then after that believe it or not it's the Rimmel and again it's coming off but I can live with that it didn't come off to start off with then after that is the I've got the wrong Essie out because it's the purple Essie I should have got out and I've got the pink one out but um, yeah absolutely rubbish it as you can tell by my finger total rubbish so in fact I'm going to swap these around because although so Susan chipped on the first say 24 hours it hasn't gone to the ridiculous lengths so um and then obviously the se but not this color and that's the se one and again that just literally i don't know i sit there and it was just scraping off so easily so there are my ton top 10 out of the tutorial boxes that i've done and uh Hope you enjoy this video and this update and I will see you in my next one. Bye!